Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today we're talking about this switch here. So you know I'm already doing all the dash stuff. Uh, these lights was burned out in here. So I had a couple extra LEDs, so I soldered them in. But the more important thing is, taking this plate off, it is a pain in the ass. So anyway, so when you first start to look at this, you will have these little plastic tabs right here on the back and it will go like this uh, give me one second here but anyway you'll have these little plastic tabs all the way around you can pop them tabs loose right there and after you pop them loose you got two choices Either you can just push them back on there and hope it stays on there, or you can just hit it with a dab of hot glue or something just to help hold it on. But anyway, these clips here, these ones here, hold on top here. So you have to raise these clips, and it all slides out the front. It doesn't go out the back, as you can see. And then on the one... For the dial that goes up and down for your dimming, it has a clip. Let's see where was it? Right. Let me get a screwdriver here. I'm sorry about the video. You have a tab right there, and then one right there. So once you get the faceplate off, you'll be looking at it like this, and this is what you'll see. You have one little tab right here. If I can focus here, sorry. Man, this thing don't want to work for me today. Anyway, you have that one little tab there. You got to push in, and then the button will pop off. And then you'll be looking at it like this. So it'll be in there. Then you'll pull these two tabs up. Of course, be disconnected. Slides off. And then you will push them two tabs and slide them off. And if yours is anything like mine, mine was melted and broke anyway from the stock bulb. So anyway, now, let me turn this on real quick. Now you got a nice pretty LED really lighting it up because all it was burned out anyway. But I hope this helps you get the switch apart on your 2002 F350 power stroke, your dimmer switch and headlight switch, because it was a pain in the ass because I was wanting to be easy with it so I didn't break it and have to buy a new one because my switch wouldn't go back because there was crud back in here. So I cleaned all that and now everything works real nice. All right, well, this is Adam and uh, I hope this helps somebody with theirs because I know it's been a, been a pain with mine. Well, yeah, and there it is. Well, thanks very much for watching, and as I continue on, I will give you more updates. Thanks. Oh, yeah, and all of it's LED now, so that's nice. So I can actually see all the lights was burned out anyway. And yes, I know the dash is tore apart, but that's because the shifter linkage snapped off in the end. But that's for another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.